much. The folks at XL Energy and Wonset Construction breaking ground on that big Hale County wind farm project this morning. And while they actually started construction in June, KMX Tori Lauren had talked to them at today's event about the impact of this project on the entire region. From nearby landowners, project workers, school and county representatives, there were a lot of people in attendance here today to see what type of conservation and economic benefits this project is going to bring to the region. We uh, used to cuss the wind, and now we can embrace the wind, and it'll bring help bring income. The Hale Wind Project is breaking ground on their new wind turbines. So we're excited about being guests here for the next 10 months. About 230 wind turbines will now be scattered across much of Hale County. Landowners say it'll bring them much needed revenue. We leased our acres, and every acre that is leased where the turbines are part of, they will get a portion of the proceeds. And Hale County Commissioner Mario Martinez says it'll help the county's growth. Create jobs uh, for some of our local people there in Petersburg and Hale County. Excel Energy Representative Wes Reeves says it's also bringing a number of jobs to the rural South Plains. Wanzit Construction is actually building this for us, and so they'll have about 300 uh, at peak uh, in this in this area. And then once the the towers and the turbines are built and operational, we should see about 20 full time employees. While some people are worried about change, Reeves says it's helping energy and water conservation. We're excited that we'll be saving uh, billions of gallons of water over 30 years. And putting money back in your pocket. We have no fuel associated with these turbines, and so we're going to see a reduction, maybe on the order of two dollars a month, uh, related to that. Now that doesn't sound like a lot, but over time, that helps hold down overall costs. Their aim is to have the wind farm up and running by next June. Reporting from Hale County, I'm Tori Larned with KMAC News.